Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Dan and we always work on my Fiesta. I have got a Focus RS in here. I've done a couple of videos, but we don't tend to do much work on that just because I just can't be bothered basically. So if you are new to the channel and you like Fiestas, then please subscribe. And also if you like Focus RSs, then please subscribe for future content because there will be some coming up shortly. Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna be tackling the rear seat in this car. So when I bought the car, it had the old blue crusty seats that you get with the Fiesta ST 150s and I upgraded them to the ST heated leather ones. So I've had the seats now probably two years, I think, something like that, and the rear seat doesn't work. So one side you can press the latch, pull it down and get your golf clubs in. The other side doesn't work. It basically it locked into place and then the actual contraption at the top of the seat snapped. I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean. I'll put a cloth down there just in case. Um, hmm. Interesting, that feels a bit damp. Okay, maybe we'll do that. We'll come back to that another day. If you own a Mark VI Fiesta, then you'll know that you get these two little bits here. So this side is working fine. You push the button, the seat will go forward. However, I come to this side, and as you can see, for whatever reason, there's some sort of weird gap here between the seats. So like, I can't get my hand down there, and then you can get your hand down here. And then also, this part here is snapped, so it doesn't actually work. So the red bit showing, and there's no plastic cover. Okay, so what I went ahead and done is gone to eBay and bought these. So you've got driver side, passenger side, or passenger driver side. I don't know, I don't know which one's which, but I don't think it really matters. But they have kindly put on it what it's for. It says five door, but obviously three door. And what we will be doing is taking out the old unit. I'll show you how to undo the catch because obviously there's no handle to pull, which pulls this bit, which releases this. So basically you pull on here, and then this releases the catch where the seat goes into. Now, obviously my one's broken, and I'll quickly show you how to open it and get the seat down. Right, so the first thing you've got to do is take this clip off. Now, all you need to do for this is kind of push it to the left or the right, and it should pop out, he says, like so. So yeah, this part comes out and then it's got these two little nodgly bits. And how I've done that, I kind of pulled from this side and it just popped up like that. And then what it does, I'll show you in there. I'm not gonna be able to film it that well, but I'll show you how to release it. So that part there snapped. You can see it just here. And obviously that sits on a little pin inside the contraption. And obviously that when you pull it, that should sort of spring and pull it forward or whatever it does. And if you can see there, it basically sits on here. So there's normally a pin on this bit. So I was working away at this bit, wondering what the hell to do. And all you do, if you can get to it, pull up on it hard, as hard as you can, and you need two hands to do this, and then you pull the seat forward and it should spring forward, if that makes sense. So yeah, grab that little plastic bit. You might need some pliers or something, but if you give it a good enough pull, without cutting your fingers, you then can pull this seat forward because it hooks onto that part in the car there. So let me put you on the tripod and I'll see if we can do it. I kind of move the seat back a bit. And then just like that, seat goes forward. Take the parcel shelf out because it'll make life a lot easier. But yeah, now we've got the seat out. What we need to do, we've got some torx bolts down here. So you undo these, and then we need to put this in the garage, and then we can look to find out how to put this apart. Should be easy. So I don't know what size they are. I'm going to go for a T30 or 40. What do you reckon? 40. T40. I'm getting good at this. Let's try T45. Yep, T40. So you need to undo the T40s here. Right, and just like that, you've got your seat off. So we need to peel back all this here to get to the contraption that's inside here. So you can see it there. So obviously all the gubbins or whatever you want to call it is all in there so we will undo that in a garage right so i've not actually done this before i've seen a video on how to do it you should be able to just pick away the seat from the um, frame i don't know if it's going to go back together or not it shouldn't be too hard but basically there's two bolts in here that you need to get to so i'm just going to try and pick this away from the seat actually we use a trim removal tool So I've got this bit away, uh, it started to crack, obviously this is old plastic, so... Or is it because it's the corners, who knows, but it seems to be coming away fairly easy once you get a little wedge in there. You know when you start something and you just wish you hadn't? 
There you go, right, I think with there. Oh, there you go, look, easy. So what, they, they're going to be any 40s or 45s as well. So this should be a fairly easy job. I'm hoping to find the pin in there somewhere as well. Right, it's actually a 50. Not a 45, not a 47, a 50. So I'm going to undo these two here. So I don't know if you can see that. You will now. You've got two bolts there. Take them two bolts out and they were fairly easy to come out and then this whole contraption comes out like so well hey and there it is so it's probably it's obviously not going to focus for you but you can see what's happened is there's like a where is it so this arm here is what you kind of have to when what i said you have to pull up so you pull this bit up which kind of which does release this mechanism here which is actually foobard you can see there that's all busted there but you basically pull this contraption up it releases this so you can push your seat forward and in here there should be a pin on that little bit in there there's a pin that connects to the other bit i haven't got it it's in the car but it connects to this bit underneath i don't know if i'll be able to show you right so i had to go in for something and now i can't remember where i left the video off so i'm gonna get the new bits here get them hopefully these are the right parts they've got to be surely we need this one. We need this one. So part numbers look exactly the same from what I can see on the labels there. Two labels, part numbers same, so I know this is gonna be good, this new one. And it's only gonna be a reversal of putting that in. So I don't know if I can show you how it works, but in there, if this if this focuses, so in here this arm is connected by a pin just there. You can just see it, and obviously that connects to this bit here. So you pull it, pops open, beautiful. So I don't need this part on yet, because obviously this is just a cover. So I'm going to take this off. Probably end up snapping this, and I need this bit because I haven't got one on the car. I'm going to give this a bit of a wipe down as well, because it's a bit minging. Well, that's annoying. I had to go in again. So I think we were talking about the right one. This one, so it says Fiesta 5 door on there. I think it'll be fine, it should work. So let's put it back in, get the two bolts and see. I'm hoping, maybe, you never know, by doing this, I need to clean it, but by fixing this, it may fix the dodgy bit on the seat because obviously this has got like a little rubber bit on it here. You can't really see it, but it is there. But it's nice to have something broken on the car and then be able to fix it, I think. Plus a bit of content for you guys. So it's just a reversal of how you put it in. And you take it off. So that's all it is. You've got the two T50 bolts there. And then obviously it just goes into there, it's got a bit of lining up. Now I've got to put this foam pad back on and then somehow try and get the seat cover on. I'm going to think it's going to be an arse, but we'll see. There you go, not too bad. Push the foam down when you're doing it and you're laughing. I'm just got to now try and get the plastic back in this. Like, it runs, there's like a little channel that it runs in. Shouldn't be too hard. Kind of folds like underneath itself, if that makes sense. Brute force and ignorance always works. There you go. That's the right part number, but it doesn't feel very good. Anyway, let's put it back on the car and see what happens. Right, so this is the bit we need to be careful because last time I've done this, I think I started to cross thread one of the bolts. I'm very good at cross threading things that you probably noticed on this channel. Four Torx bolts are basically going to the back of the seat. This is obviously really thin metal, so just be careful when you're putting these back, but let's hope for the best. All four bolts have been done up. You can't really see it there, but they're all done up. Now I'm going to pull this down and see if it clicks. If it clicks, it's worked. If it doesn't click, then whatever. So for whatever reason, the seat is still a bit bleed. So I don't really know what I'm going to do about that. I 
I don't know what, I don't think it's going into there properly. But this works now, look, I can push this, seat goes forward, push it back, click. I think it feels like it should needs to come this way, that or that's bent, or something, I don't know. Maybe off camera I'll try and uh, kick this and bend it back into shape, but this one needs to go back this way anyway. So I'd like to report a successful fix. Right, so I'm going to call that one a success. That has worked nicely on the car. Like I say, the seat is a little bit sort of bent out of shape somewhere, so I'm just going to try and kick it off camera so you can't see what I'm doing. And then maybe on the next video I'll show how straight it is because I've kicked it to death. Annoyingly, I'm going to have to look at the leak because I think the leak's back. I'm not sure, but that was felt a bit damp and it was dry when I'd done it, but maybe I need about another tonne of sealant to be put on that gasket or maybe there's just a leak coming elsewhere. So if you know of any leaks, I have sealed up here. I've taken the roof bar off, I'm, I'm at a loss, so it's summertime anyway, so we shouldn't have too much rain, which will be great. As always, if you've made it this far to the video, thanks very much for watching. Please consider subscribing. I do have a little mod to do on the Focus, but I'm waiting for that to arrive. It's another 3D printed part from Liam. Can't wait to try that out, because it's actually some new fog lights for the Focus. So yeah, stay tuned to that one, and I'll catch you in the next one.